Hi, this is Chimes Media and I'm James Williams. On uh, Saturday the 5th of uh, January 2019, I was in London and I came across a group of Iranians protesting across the road from uh, Downing Street and uh, so I was curious to know what they, they were about and they turned out to be members of the National Council of Resistance of Iran, NCRI, who seem to be the main resistance against the current Iranian regime in Tehran. The NCRI has more than 500 members, including representatives of ethnic and religious minorities such as the Kurds, the Baluchis, the Armenians, Jews and Zoroastrians. They seek the overthrow of the current regime and they say within six months of its overthrow they would hand over the affairs of the country to their elected representatives. Now I did some film footage which I'll show you of one of the talks there. Basically, the Anglo-Iranian community and supporters, NCRI, mark the one-year anniversary of the popular protests in Iran at a rally outside Number 10 Downing Street on January the 5th, calling on the UK government to support the democratic aspiration of the Iranian people, uh, recognise the organised resistance in NCRI and to demand the immediate release of all those arrested during the protests. They go on to say in uh, Caption 2, as it's called, they call on the UK government to work with the EU and the United States to proscribe the Iranian regime's intelligence ministry as a terrorist organisation and end impunity for regime officials and leaders by imposing punitive measures and by taking steps at the UN to hold them to account for human rights abuses and sponsor of terrorism. And that's their statement, basically. So we'll have a look at the uh, film footage and uh, I'll talk a bit more about uh, Marianne Rajavi uh, just afterwards. So I've got a, there's a brochure. I'll put it on the screen so you can read it for yourself. But I know if you're not near the screen, you just like to listen to stuff. I'll read it out for you. Not, I won't read it all out, but a good bit of it anyway. <laughs> ما ما این پیام ها را در سخنرانی هایی که امروز از سوی نمایندگان جوامع مختلف ایران ایراد خواهد شد خواهیم شنید و همچنین به سخنرانی هایی از سوی شخصیت های حامی مقاومت در انگلستان گوش خواهیم سپرد Ladies and gentlemen I would like to thank all of you for being here, for being here today to mark this occasion A year has passed since the people of Iran broke the shackles of suppression imposed by the mullahs and partook in a popular nationwide uprising. In this past year, we witnessed women stand shoulder to shoulder with men in defiance of this regime. The protesters included workers, students, teachers, and many who've had assets embezzled by the regime, whose demonstrations were there for the world to see. The youth of Iran, in a display of dissent towards the regime, chanted the slogan, moderate, hardliner, the game is over once again highlighting the mere reality that nobody in Iran is being fooled by the regime's tricks and the eyes are now being cast more and more to the resistance movement and its objectives. In fact, the continuous verbal attacks on the NCRI, its president Mrs. Rajavi and Mojahideen in Ashraf 3 is once again a ma manifestation of the same fear that the regime has of the connection being formed between the people in Iran who have risen up and the unified resistance movement. The Iranian community in the UK have gathered here today to show their support and stand in solidarity with the people in the uprising who have stayed in the streets for a year, up until now. Also, they demand that the UK government listens to the cries of the people in Iran for freedom and democracy and abandons the doomed policy of appeasement. We shall hear more about this in speeches by representatives from different Iranian associations present here today. And similarly, we will listen to further speeches by distinguished personalities and dignitaries who have been avid supporters of the resistance movement. And in the first program, I would like to say that the President of the government is Mariam Rajavi is the President-elect of the NCRI for a transitional period.
Her mandate is to oversee the peaceful transfer of power to the Iranian people following the regime's overthrow. The National Council of Resistance of Iran, a broad coalition of democratic Iranian organisations, groups and personalities, was founded in 1981 in Tehran on the initiative of Masoud Rajavi, the leader of the Iranian resistance. It's a parliament in exile, as they call themselves. The NCRI has more than 500 members, including representatives of ethnic and religious minorities, such as the Kurds, Baluchis, Armenians, Jews and Zoroastrians, representing a broad spectrum of political tendencies in Iran. Acting as a parliament in exile, the NCRI aims to establish a democratic republic in Iran based on the separation of church and state. Women comprise 50% of the council's membership. Five organisations are also members of the NCRI, including the People's Mujahideen Organisation of Iran, the largest and most popular resistance group outside Iran. All members of the council have one vote. All decisions are adopted by a simple majority. So one of the features of their policy is the human rights. So look at that. The NCRI is committed to abolish the death penalty and adheres to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and relevant covenants, including freedom of association, freedom of thought and expression, media, political parties, trade unions, councils, religions and denominations, freedom of profession and the prevention of any violation of individual and social rights and freedoms. As far as uh, women are concerned, the NCRI recognises the right of women to elect and be elected in all elections and the right to suffrage in all referendums, the right to employment and free selection of profession and the right to hold any public office or profession, including the presidency or judgeship, the right to freely choose clothing and covering and the right to use, without discrimination, all instructional, educational, athletic and artistic resources and the right to participate in all athletic competitions and artistic activities. And that's basically that. And that's all for now. Until next time, take care of yourself.